Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to part three of our defense of Havre. Of course, many things have happened. If you haven't seen the first two parts, I highly recommend you go and check them out. Uh, things are getting pretty interesting, of course. We're falling back to the main defensive line here, and uh, yeah, it's not uh, the easiest battle in the world, but we are doing our absolute best. The French are actually advancing pretty closely here. Uh, I have to admit, they're doing a pretty good job. Some of them have, of course, decided to retreat. But one thing we're going to do is try to still hold the crossing into Wavre. And I do believe the battle may almost be over. I could be wrong on that, but I certainly hope it's the case. Let's go ahead and get these guys focused. Uh, we also still have some Prussians over here that are holding the line. I want to see if we have anyone else. Now, these are the guys that are actually holding the victory location. Um, so if we can hold out till the end of the battle, whenever that is, then I think this is going to be a victory. Unfortunately, this line is breaking little by little, and they're going to fall back now. Yep, believe it or not. Uh, obviously, our general is in danger. We want to move him back, too. But it looks like we are moving to the main objective point here uh, to try and defend it. So here we go, guys. It looks like some of our men are moving forward of their own accord. We might have to take control from the AI here. Because I don't really want them moving forward too much, so let's actually keep them right here. Um, of course, with the retreating men, I'm hoping that they can mount up again and actually put up a stellar defense against the invading French. And we need that cavalry to start doing something, um, because we really haven't gotten much assistance from the cavalry, to say the least. They did do one awesome attack in the last part of the battle. And actually, there's another location here we should be holding, but we're not. We're just holding the crossing here, which may cost us dearly in the points towards the end of the battle. We'll have to find out. Uh, but for now, we will stick around and just try and stop the French advance. Let's take a look over here where our Jaegers are firing. I believe there are Jaegers. Um, actually, they are... Uh, yeah, they are Jaegers. Beautiful. So, a lot of French firing on them, obviously. And actually, this unit of French looks like they may be going for a charge. Very possible. Um, of course, if they don't get to that last objective point, I do believe we still win since we hold the one objective point here, but that's only if the battle ends before this charge, and you can see, oh yeah, they're definitely charging here. Go ahead and turn a little bit to the right. No, I didn't want to do that. Halt, halt, halt. It's good enough. I think they'll get the idea. And yep, that's definitely a French charge. Beautiful! We actually knocked a bunch of them down there with that, uh, of course, the volley fire. But I think they're still going to be able to get in here into this battle. And yes, this is definitely going to be a bayonet row left and right. I hope we win it, but I'm not sure we're going to. We're knocking down a lot of French with our bayonets, but it looks like we are retreating. And I, they think our men have just had enough. I'm not sure. I don't believe we've been captured. That's some good news, but we've certainly retreated. And now we're awaiting, of course, the French advance. The French are sending more men forward. And we don't have a lot to hold this line. Um, so one thing I'm going to do is grab... This group, of course, this group broke off before. Move them forward over here. Alright, the French are going to try to get in on that left side. That's my concern. We don't have nearly as much to defend on that left side. But it looks like they're already afraid of the cavalry, despite the cavalry not really making much movement at all. Uh, we do have the Landwehr firing, so I might grab these units, move up. I'm actually going to have them run into place, because we really need to defend this area. And I believe we can still hold it if we, if we wait here, although I don't like that the enemy is going straight for us. Here we go, our cavalry is charging. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful, good job. So the cavalry is reacting when needed, and that's helpful, to say the least. All right, here we go. Good enough, boys, good enough. Just need you to spot the enemy. If you could spot him, then that's a start. No, 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 no. Just, damn it. No, no, they were, you, were, you were doing fine. There you go. Beautiful. Also put on the volley fire here. I want to try to get as much damage out on these guys as possible. Just let him have it, boys. Beautiful. Got some more French moving up, of course. Took them quite a while to get into formation, which I like. But just look at all those French dead all over the battlefield here. They've certainly taken a beating trying to get into the town. However, they absolutely outnumber us. There's no way around that. 
all I'm trying to do now is, is get the time to run out um, so that we can win. Um, and I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that, but we're, we're trying our best. We're still not holding that location back there, which is frustrating to me. If the enemy gets past us and takes it, I am going to be one very, very upset Prussian. Come on, men. Keep shooting, men. You can see already one of the French units over there in the background taking off. We've had a lot of French units retreat from this battlefield, and I'm hoping we can keep that up. I'm going to go ahead and try to get another volley fire off, see if we can break the will of the 22nd M. Deline, the 2nd Battalion, Brigade de Poyou. Let's go ahead and let them have it, boys. Boom! Nice losses on their right flank. We've got some artillery coming in from way back up there in the hills, um, but I don't think it's going to do much for us, to be honest. And we are not in control of that artillery. That's completely AI-controlled. We can see that the enemy, a lot of the enemy is pulling away here. I'm not sure um, if they just decided to give up. Now, the one bad thing is we've got enemies firing into our flank here. That's not good. But we are in a precarious position, no matter how you look at it. And we're just trying to, once again, delay the enemy as much as we can so that they can't get into the town of Wavre via Das Konig. We must do this. Let's maybe move these guys up just a little bit. Try to also get them firing, too. Come on, Fusiliers. Better turn them like this. Obviously, the guys on the right side won't be getting many shots off. But each shot counts, I think, here towards the end of this battle. And if we could get this unit to retreat, that would be incredible. It looks, however, like this Russian unit is about to retreat any second now. So we're going to put on the uh, volley fire for everybody at this point. Because I want to get one major shot at these units and force them to pull back. We've got French moving in on the right side here. I'm hoping that our cavalry can deal with them, but it's all up to them at this point. Oh boy, the Prussians have retreated. Still got a Prussian unit here. I'm going to go ahead and let the French have it. But I don't think that's going to be enough to hold the position, guys. I'll be honest with you. We've got another Prussian unit here. We'll move them forward. Go, boys. Hold the line. Do not let this French jackals take our positions. Looks like we also have, I totally forgot about these guys. We've got another Prussian unit here. Um, they just pulled back. It's good to see that that's not the only one we have to deal with. Um, I'm probably going to move this guy over here, the guys that just retreated. Try to hold that left flank against the enemy. Glad that the enemy seems so terrified um, of our actual uh, cavalry that they're not really moving into Wildflower as far as I can see. Good shooting boys, but I want some volley fire here. So everybody hold your fire. Reload those guns. We're going to make these guys take off. They're quite a ways away, so I'm not even sure that our rounds are going to reach them in time. But we can certainly try. Alright, that's enough time for reloading. Fire. There we go. See here, those French are taking a pounding, to say the least. They're still fight fighting strong. I don't know for how much longer. Boom, another one down. Another one bites the dust, as they say. So now we're really just holding this area with a, sort of a circular formation. It looks like those French are taking off, too. Get the hell out of here. So we've scared them away. Now maybe we can move these Fusiliers in over here. Oh, no, never mind. We just had to retreat. We're going to have to get them back on the line here. Very good shooting by the French here, I must say. But I expected this battle to be over long ago. And those French are regrouping over there. 
Right, they are on volley fire mode. I'm going to let them go ahead and fire at will. Um, because at this point, we need as many shots downwind as possible. I just need these guys to start picking out targets and wasting them. It's that simple. Keep shooting, boys. Come on, Mena. Got some French moving over here. I hope that the cavalry is aware of the situation. We're actually going to take a look back here and make sure we don't have any reinforcements. Now, we do have this unit uh, that's running, and they are truly running away. I'm going to try to bring them back here to our second victory location, but I think they're gone for the battle. I don't think they're coming back. Um, they've put up all the fight they can, and while we've definitely badly wounded the French army, I don't think we've wounded them enough um, to, to warrant a victory. We'll have to see. Once again, the clock is on our side. We're waiting for reinforcements. Once they get here, of course, the battle is over. But if they manage to make us run here, I'm not so sure that we can uh, continue. And there we go. We are running. We need that clock to start dying down immediately. And actually, look at that. It looks like the victory point here has disappeared. So we do have orders to head right back to town. That's what we're going to do. Um, try to get the generals back there as well. Come on, generals. Why can't we select them? Oh, my God. All right, you. Ammo carrier. General. Forwards. And now they're truly moving forward. They're going to grab probably a victory location. It looks like we lost that victory location, but it just, well, it just became um, unusable. So... I'm hoping that all we need to do is hold the back. But look at this. We've got some reinforcements. Am I, am I, do my eyes deceive me? No, I don't think they do. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any control over these reinforcements. They are entirely in control of other generals. Uh, but perhaps, maybe, just maybe. Nope. Unfortunately not. I'm going to say maybe, just maybe, we could bring them in. It looks like they are not coming to our assistance. Uh, but we need them to move into town immediately. We've done all we can. And now, of course, it's up to them to finish up this part of the battle. Uh, it does seem like some of our Fusiliers and some of our uh, Prussians are coming back. And we want to try and get as many of them as possible, if they're willing, uh, to go ahead and hold the line here. That would be perfect. Look at that. They're just going nuts. They don't even know what to do at this point. <laughs> Come on, men. Uh, calm down. You've done good. Now you must return to the objective point. While that's going on, we'll take a look over here at the battlefield. I mean, it's been a hell of a fight, let's be honest. we still got Konstantin von Zeppelin. He needs to move over here now. We'll have him use the roads. Oh, I believe Konstantin von Zeppelin may have just taken a mortal shot. Definitely a mortal wound there for Konstantin von Zeppelin. He is dead. There's no getting him back. The best we can hope for is that one of our groups will actually reform over here. Vitten is also in trouble. And it looks like our Prussians... Wow, look at that. They have surrendered. They actually ran all the way back to the enemy lines just to surrender. They didn't even want to go back to the Prussian army. They're like, you know what? We've had enough. We don't think that the Prussians can win. Uh, we give up. And I believe that that's our last brigade, as far as I can see. Um, you know, it's funny because when I did this on the Slytherin channel, we won because I took uh, the skirmisher advice of one of the users here. Uh, this time I didn't. This time I really tried to hold out with just the men I had. Probably a mistake, but if we could get just one infantry unit to, to go here, I believe we could take that objective point. As it is, I'm not really sure what happens. And it seems like the battle has not ended. It was supposed to end after 30 minutes. We've certainly played more than 30 minutes. Uh, but it continues, so it could be some sort of little glitch uh, occurring. It's a possibility. Um, might also just be giving uh, the enemy time to try and take the final objective point. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. All right, good. Get the cavalry here. Maybe with the cavalry here, we can actually hold this point. We need 500 men total here to be able to hold the objective point. As you guys can imagine, that is a lot of men. We don't really have any help from these guys over here. Just give me one of your brigades.
At this point, the French are probably going to go ahead, regroup, of course. They've been bloodied, but they need time to kind of get back into position to move forward. Now, that being said, I'm pretty sure that this is, has to be a French victory um, because they did break the initial line in front of Wavre, and our, our job was to hold it. Um, nonetheless, wow, what a hell of a battle, I must say. There we go. They're moving in. They are moving in. It's entirely up to the cavalry at this point. Every single one of our units has run off the field. Trying to look for a few, but I think they have definitely gotten out of here. That. They're crossing into Wavre. Oh, we've got some men over here. I just noticed them. Hiding in the woods, are we? So this is insubordination. We're going to see if we can catch some of these French, but really more realistically, I'd like to actually get the guys here. I don't think they can get there in time, though. And they're actually one of our worst units. We can take a look over here. The amount of kills they got, 109. The amount of losses, 321. The Fusiliers... They are not as good of Fusiliers as I expected them to be, but you know what? When all you have are Fusiliers, you've got to make use of them. I think that's the position we're in right now. And I'm hoping that those cavalry are ready to charge across that bridge, because if the French try to go across it, uh, we're finished. It's pretty much how it's going to work. Actually, I'm going to see if the Fusiliers will run here. It'll take a little while for them to get here, but nonetheless... We may not even need to get there if we can engage the French as they're crossing the river here. Of course, that's going to cause them a tremendous amount of fatigue crossing the river instead of using the bridge. Uh, but it's going to cause us a tremendous amount of fatigue to run to the position we're going to. So, there we go. We already have spotted them. We can start shooting now. Why not? Let's do it. I think they've already noticed. And we got more Frenchmen crossing there on our left side. Let's just hope we can get a few volleys off. There we go. Run! Run! Right, they're out of our line of sight now. We'll go ahead and turn um, towards the invading enemy here. Although I don't expect we will last very long. Fire at will, boys. of them down. Well, one of them anyway. These guys are really not very good shots. Despite being Fusiliers, I believe if we put them in a skirmish position, they'd do a lot better. There's a second one on the right. There's a few. That's what I'm talking about. Let's give them a nice little volley shot. Reload men. And let them have it. Okay, so it looks like the French have gotten to the bridge in a square formation. Uh, probably to stop any sort of attack by the cavalry. I'm going to try to move our Fusiliers over here in time, but I think the French might catch us before we get there. Nonetheless, I think I'm going to call this battle a defeat, guys. We can't get to the objective, um, as far as I'm concerned, in time. Um, the battle should have definitely ended long ago, and had it ended long ago, I think this would be a victory for us. But I'm desperate to see the casualties, as I'm sure you guys are. So we're going to go ahead and um, stop the battle here very soon. We'll get a few more shots off, of course. Uh, but I uh, want to see the casualties list, which is why I'm going to stop the battle. 
and uh, call it an interesting fight nonetheless. At the end of the day, we've got a little bug here that's going to work to our favor. Actually, going to allow them to get a volley shot. That's what you get for trying to cross a river. There we go, boys. Fire at will. Got plenty more French advancing on that side. Once again, the battle ended now, we'd be fine. It seems anytime I'm on the attack, the battle ends too early. When the enemy's on the attack, the battle ends far too late. Well, we'll get a quick look here at the battlefield before we leave, but we will call this a defeat as we retreat from our positions. Um, though a really nice one there. A lot of our boys down on this side. They took a hell of a beating, a lot of artillery also hitting them. But I think we put some serious hurting on the French army. So there we go, guys. We're going to end the battle. Um, yes, end the battle. A major defeat. We'll take a look at the statistics here. And it looks like enemy casualties, 1,512. Our casualties, about 1,695. But a fun battle nonetheless. And if you guys do enjoy these Scourge of War, uh, Wavre, or Waterloo battles, let me know. You guys seem to really view them a lot. There's a lot of likes on these battles, so we'll try to do more. Um, I enjoy doing them. But make sure to let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Tell me what you want to see next, and have an awesome, awesome day.